Hi everyone, my name is Taylor McCaslin, and I'm a group manager of product for data science at GitLab. Today, I'm going to showcase some AI-assisted technologies we're integrating into GitLab to support developers during the software development lifecycle. Let's start with writing code. Code suggestions allow developers to write code more efficiently by receiving code suggestions as they type. It helps developers improve developer productivity, focus, and innovation. This works in VS Code using the GitLab Workflow extension. Let's take a look. Code suggestions can quickly complete common tasks like importing Python packages. It can also help you complete functions and then use those functions as you're writing code. Here we're defining a first and last name and then defining a full name. We then can use those defined functions in a user form. Next, code suggestions can also be used to fill in relevant content based on context. Code suggestions can also be used to leverage common API interfaces that help developers get quickly started with new APIs and writing common boilerplate code that can be extended for custom functionality. Here we're taking the fast API, creating a Hello World instance, and then creating some examples of how you can use data within this new fast API example. Finally, we can also use it to recommend boilerplate code like connecting to a MySQL database. Once a developer is finished writing code, they then push up that code to GitLab via a merge request, and it's time to get some reviewers. Suggested Reviewers helps customers have faster and higher quality code reviews by automatically finding the right people to review merge requests. This leverages a novel machine learning algorithm that analyzes the specific source code changes in a merge request and suggests code reviewers with contextual knowledge of those changes who are likely to be able to provide a code review. Let's take a look at how this works in a real merge request. Once a developer opens a merge request with their new source code changes, it's common to request a code review. In this merge request, I have a documentation change, but haven't set a reviewer. In the code reviewers dropdown, I can receive suggestions. I see two recommendations already who are perfect for this code change, Mon, who's my engineering manager, and Amy, who's one of our technical writers. Amy specifically is a code owner who can actually merge this change for me. This is great because it helps me respect this repository's governance rules around who can merge changes. Now that we've selected a reviewer, let's ensure that that reviewer has the appropriate context to be able to provide of a high quality review. Summarize merge request changes. When a developer creates a new merge request, it's common to not take the time to write a detailed description of the changes. In the worst case, this can lead to blank merge request descriptions that leave reviewers left in the dark about what a change is intended to do. Summarize MR changes helps the author of MRs efficiently communicate what their code change does. This helps reviewers easily understand the change and begin the reviews faster. Let's take a look at a merge request. Here we have some simple changes, but a blank description. Let's leverage the GitLab action to summarize this diff. This leverages a large language model to analyze the changes in this merge request and publish a comment summarizing the changes this merge request implements. Now that we have a merge request summary, let's now get some feedback from a reviewer. Summarize my merge request review. Merge requests make it easy for developers to get feedback on their code with reviews. However, reviewers can frequently create many small comments across many files, which can be hard to understand. GitLab can help reviewers summarize all their changes, enabling the original developer to more efficiently understand the reviewer's requested changes and implement them faster. Let's jump into an active merge request where a reviewer is actively adding comments for the original author. Once a reviewer is done, they can click Finish Review and choose the quick action to summarize their merge request. This will highlight all of the various feedback items in a single summary comment. 
Now the original author can quickly take this reviewer's feedback and iterate on their merge request. Now let's look at some features that support security and operations users. Explain this vulnerability. GitLab already has security scanning built in, which can help developers detect security vulnerabilities in code they write. However, it can be difficult for developers to understand these vulnerabilities, especially if they aren't trained in cybersecurity or haven't encountered a specific type of vulnerability before. Explain this vulnerability helps developers to understand a detected vulnerability, learn about why it's a problem, and even receive tips on how to resolve it. Let's look at a specific vulnerability. Here I have a static analysis vulnerability and I can see the prompt to explain this vulnerability and learn how to mitigate it with AI. Here we can see I'm missing a user instruction in my Docker file. I get an explanation of this vulnerability and how it's exploited. I also am recommended a fix. Now I've got everything I need to quickly go and resolve this vulnerability. Now that we've resolved the vulnerability, let's generate some tests to ensure that our code does what we expect. Generate tests and merge requests. When developers push changes to a new merge request, it's common for them to iterate continuously. A common problem with new code is it frequently doesn't have tests associated with it. This makes it hard to review code as there's no way to easily check if the code does what it's expected to do. With AI, we can take code changes and suggest test files to help both the original developer and reviewers ensure code works as expected. In a merge request, developers can choose the dropdown associated with a file and click Generate Tests. This will use AI to generate test files. Developers can then take these generated tests and add them to the merge request with subsequent commits. Now that we've generated tests, let's go back and look at our code base and see what we might do next. Explain this code. It's common during the development to encounter code that you are not familiar with, but need to understand to continue your task. GitLab now allows users on CodeViews to receive an AI-generated explanation of how a code block functions. This enables anyone interacting with source code to quickly onboard to a new code base, but also to uplevel their skills and understanding as they encounter code they're not familiar with. When viewing code on GitLab, simply highlight a code block that you don't understand and click the question mark. An AI-generated summary will explain what this code does and allow you to quickly understand what's happening in that selected code block. Now let's look at some features that benefit anybody who uses GitLab. Issue comment summaries. In large software organizations, it's common for there to be many ideas tracked in issues. Issues can accumulate many comments over time, or particularly exciting ideas can generate lots of comments back and forth as various people provide inputs on how to solve an issue. These comments can quickly become overwhelming and hard to follow. GitLab now offers a simple way to quickly summarize issues with many comments. Here I have an issue that's seven years old, and it has a lot of comments. It actually takes a long time to just scroll to the bottom of the page. Now we can choose the quick GitLab action to summarize comments. This will use AI to summarize all of the comments above and give me a quick, easy to understand summary of all the content so that I can get to action faster. Once I understand what I wanna to do to solve an issue, it might be common for me then to have questions about how to move forward next. GitLab chat. During the process of creating software, it's common to have questions about how to accomplish something, especially if you're a new developer. This can frequently require asking a colleague, googling the question, or scouring documentation to find an answer. With AI, we can make this as simple as asking a question in chat. Using a large language model trained on GitLab documentation, we can answer queries and point users to relevant documentation and tutorials. Let's take a look at what this looks like in the UI. In the bottom left, click the help icon and click Ask GitLab Chat. Let's ask about enabling security scanning in GitLab. GitLab Chat analyzes our documentation and provides natural language 
answer to our query and even links relevant sources that include documentation and tutorials. Now that we know that our users are productive, we should think about measuring that productivity. Value Stream Forecasting GitLab Value Stream Analytics enable decision makers to identify trends, patterns, and opportunities for digital transformation using metadata from all the deployment activities across GitLab. This historical data can also be used to predict what to expect in the future, allowing you to make critical decisions for planning and staffing. In a repository, click the CICD Analytics under the Analyze tab. Choose Deployment Frequency and enable the forecast option. You'll then see a forecasted trend based on historical data, allowing you to predict what to expect in the future based on your historical data.